Welcome to another dumb video. Have you ever wondered if you can create a website with just CSS? Yeah, I mean, not HTML, not JavaScript, or any server-side language. I know you haven't, but I did. And this is my big brain attempt to do this. Browsers already create body and head tech for us, so we can use them to do this job. If you have done web development, you may have used this CSS tag called content which will let you add some texts in your HTML elements. This looks fine, and if you run this in your browser, you'll get some nice hello world. But there is this little problem. You can only add textual contents like hello world and not some HTML tags that will let you create websites. So we need a solution for this. After digging up internet for a while, I found this really intelligent solution. Be really want. So, first I have created this SVG image, just take a look at the name, and then we'll use this foreign object element, which will let you add XHTML elements in your SVG image. So let's create one. We have to mention the height and width for our HVG element and also the xmlens tag that I always forget, so I have just pasted it from somewhere. You also need to add dimensions in your foreign object element, or this just won't work. And now it's time to embed some XHTML elements that will display HTML elements in our SVG image. Before I proceed further, let's make sure I put our HTML.SVG file as our content. Let's try putting some HTML tags here and see if that works. And reloading my browser gives us a nice hello world shown by CSS without any HTML, like technically. So now it's time to just relax and try putting some different HTML tags here and just organize our website. So HTML list would work fine. I also tried to put an input, but it just won't be responsive because after all this is just an image, not some real dumb elements. And just for fun, I just added this nice colorful box. And that's how you create a website without any HTML or JavaScript, like technically, using just CSS. And you know the best part? When you go inside view page source, you see just this style tag with some CSS. 